What's up YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here and welcome to another TCG video on my channel. I went to a League Cup this weekend and as you can see I became the champion first place winner at a League Cup. It's been quite a while but uh, I'm definitely happy with the results. I was playing of course Zoroark with Lycanroc if I've been playing it uh, throughout the entire season. I'll be uh, going through my deck list in a minute but first I'm gonna talk about my matches and what the League promo this week was. The League promo this week is a skateboard. Not the best card in the world since Floatstone is obviously better than this card but uh, this can also uh, be uh, really effective if paralyzation becomes or actually special conditions in that matter become a little bit better because uh, if you are asleep and paralyzed you can still retreat and uh, floatstone is better but maybe when floatstone is uh, out of the format when it is uh, rotated out maybe people will grab into this awesome skateboard but now let's go to the matches first match I was up against Tapu Bulu with Vika Volt and this is in particular not the best matchup in the world I uh, of course was playing with my Zoroarks and the bad thing about the Zoroark is that Tapu Bulu has a great time against it because if you have a choice band Tapu Bulu can hit for 210 and that uh, works out pretty well and I uh, actually lost twice uh, in that game so uh, game number one I uh, lost twice against Vika Bulu because uh, he always had the choice band I was up against Nikki one of the guys I actually know is uh, a friend of mine I've been uh, playing uh, with uh, these guys for uh, a bunch of years now so uh, Nikki has been uh, doing quite well in the scene so he was playing Tapu Bulu Vika Volt and actually there was a ton of Tapu Bulu with Vika Volt and I was afraid of that because everything can one shot our um, Zoroark and also uh, uh, Tapu Bulu has advantage over Lycanroc because uh, Lycanroc is weak to grass so I did not have the perfect time there and uh, he got out Vika Volt always had that first turn Bridget and uh, I couldn't keep up here and got uh, lost here. Also, a little fun fact is that my counter energy was priced, so I could not even rely on Mallow together with Sudowoodoo and uh, of course the counter energy to come back from that because as you know Sudowoodoo has the best time against uh, Tapu Bulu and uh, it didn't work out with Sudowoodoo since counter energy was priced during the first game and the second game he got that Vika Bull uh, really quickly and got the choice ban when he needed uh, it. So I lost the first game and I wasn't feeling uh, pretty good about that because uh, usually when I lose the first round I, I was like oh man I'm going downhill from here but I, I lucky for me I got a buy the next game so game number two I got a buy because I was standing last and I got that buy and uh, that's an automatic win so was that one win and one loss actually I don't like getting buys but it was nice because I could sort out my cards a little bit here and there and even sell some cards to the people that weren't playing there Okay, game number three was up against, you could guess it, another Tapu Bulu Vikavolt. Belgium was uh, one of the, well, this is one of these countries that li love playing Tapu Bulu Vikavolt, and uh, I've seen a bunch throughout the tournament. And uh, again, it was not the best matchup in the world. Uh, game number one, I actually uh, won that game uh, because I actually uh, got that Sudowoodo. And Sudowoodo, as you know, copies the Nature's Judgment and out of nowhere get that prize card and the last two prize cards and I even got those uh, early game knockouts on Grubbins thanks to uh, the bloodthirsty eyes of of course my good friend Lycanroc and Lycanroc uh, knocks out Grubbins all day long in the early game and then uh, when he finally got out of Vika Vault I only needed two more prize cards got a knockout thanks to Dangerous Rogue GX and got of course a knockout thanks to our, our good friend Sudowoodo with the counter energy if I was falling behind in prize card I only needed two more prize cards he needed one more prize card that was enough for me to use the uh, of course the uh, uh, watch and learn and boom I got myself the win here I was feeling pretty good about that actually uh, that was only game one of that game three so I uh, actually tied uh, entirely because uh, he, he got out to win uh, in game number two just in time time got called and he uh, managed to get that win so I was at one win one loss and a tie and then everything uh, went way better for me I was at game number uh, was it game one two three uh, game number four I, I, I forgot because I had a buy here so game number four was up against this deck uh, Duskmane across my Magnezone also one of these decks I don't love playing against because Duskmane across my one shots all of my Pokemon but of course the Meteor Tempest and of course Sun uh, Eclipse GX the good news is that uh, I uh, Knocked out a Magnemite early game. He got out his Duskmane Krosma, got the one shot on the Zoroark, and I was like, yeah, I don't mind at all. Get out my Sudowoodoo, and then I could use Meteor uh, Tempest on his uh, Duskmane Krosma. Boom, get some more prize cards. Then uh, the uh, Lycanroc comes out, of course, with the Dangerous Rogue GX, because as you all know, Dangerous Rogue GX is, uh, is an amazing GX move here, because with that, you can knock out anything. He benches all of his Magnemites, and even uh, played uh, Oranguru, I believe, for to draw some more cards. Or, no, no, it was not Oranguru, it was Octillery. That was kind of weird because he was running Dustman, Krosma, uh, Magnezone and uh, Octillery. He, he was also 
still one of the guys I uh, uh, see a lot at tournaments, it was Tim and uh, in this particular matchup I uh, won twice at the game number two in this matchup he uh, bricked entirely and game number one I won easily thanks to Sudowoodoo and like a rock jack so that was it I was at two wins one loss and a tie next up we were facing one of the guys that is a really skillful player and that player was uh, Jimmy uh, if you have not heard about Jimmy I talked about his deck list before on the channel and that is of course Dustman across my jacks with Metagross jacks he's also a world uh, class player he's uh, went to worlds did really well at worlds so uh, I don't uh, I'm always intimidated a little bit because he has so much uh, great experience at tournaments But I managed to get the win here twice against the uh, Duskwind Krozma actually not twice uh, uh, I was win one game and uh, I lost one game and then uh, Game number three time got called and uh, I was winning that match so he gave me the win which is really friendly I know him I uh, played against him almost at any tournament and this time around he was not playing guard of war anymore He was playing Duskman across my jacks with Metagross the first game I actually won uh, This is an amazing game because I could knock out his Beldum uh, Of course with the early game pressure dangerous rogue jacks together with righteous beating can get myself actually uh, a lot of prize cards The dangerous rogue jacks knocked out a metagross jacks at one point because I had a strong energy equipped it a choice band He only had four bench Pokemon targeted that Metagross boom get two prize cards and then the early uh, game Beldums uh, won me the game because he couldn't get out his Metagross Jack so he couldn't even power up his Duskman Krozma okay game number two uh, I was in favor of him because uh, I uh, we were standing behind actually I got off a lot of prize cards doing the same strategy targeting Beldums early game getting some prize cards even the uh, the dangerous rogue jacks once again but the thing here is that uh, late game I decked out and why is that because uh, I couldn't find my uh, second Lycanroc GX It was in my prizes used all my puzzles and Guzma So the thing he did is retreat turn after turn he retreated his Metagross retreated his Tapu Lele everything he retreated So I couldn't even one-shot it. I uh, kept using uh, my Jax move was already used So I kept using righteous beating, but that wasn't enough He kept attacking with Metagross or Tapu Lele's and then retreated them uh, when uh, he was almost knocked out So that was unfortunate. I decked out thanks to that strategy. So uh, in the third game uh, things went really well. He uh, He bricked like crazy. It was uh, I think he couldn't even get out his uh, first turn Bridget he had to rely on Cynthia and uh, he definitely got out some Beldums here and there but every time he benched the Beldum I targeted immediately so uh, that was amazing so I won that uh, actually not one time got called but uh, I only needed like uh, I think three more prize cards or uh, I was definitely gonna win that game but he said like yeah uh, this game I couldn't win anymore and he gave me the win so what at three wins one tie and a loss so uh, next up uh, I think uh, we are three wins one yeah oh, that was it that is the top four there weren't all that many players definitely a lot of skilled players but now we are at the top four I bubbled in the top four standing in the fourth place which was amazing and now we are in the top four what did we face in the top four this garbage deck there we go it is Garbodor, Drompa, Tauros, Espeon actually one of the list that uh, won the regionals I believe so uh, not the best matchup in the world, but lucky for me, I actually tacked him three field blowers instead of just running two field blowers. That was a great decision after all because I could field blow away all the uh, float stones on Garbage Tox and get my abilities back. And then the first game, I actually got out four Zoroark GXs. It was crazy. So uh, uh, that was actually, or actually, let me think about it. Okay, that was the game after that. Anyhow, uh, I targeted all his Trubbish before he could even evolve them, even a Trubbish with a Float Stone, targeted immediately. So uh, that was my focus because two of my Field Blowers were priced. So I uh, decided knocking out the Trubbish and uh, uh, went from there. Drompa uh, was weak to uh, fighting. He uh, used Drompa a lot to use Righteous Edge to discard all my special energy at one point. All my DCEs were in the discard pile, get my puzzles, DCEs back, and that was pretty it. Uh, also, Zoroark Jax with the 120 damage Righteous Beating on an Espeon Jax was kind of good because he paralyzed, parallel city me, which meant I could only have three more bench Pokemon. But the Espeon only has 80 uh, damage remaining, so that was great because Righteous Beating still dealt 80 damage, knocked out that Espeon, and that was it. So uh, game number one was, went pretty smoothly. Game number two, he decided to go for Trash Lands. I counted up all my items, but he couldn't even get the one head KO. I uh, uh, kept my uh, puzzles away for a, a long time, and actually he started with I think it was a. Tauros, I believe. No, 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 that was not it. That was in game number one. Game number two was really crazy. He started with a lone Tapu Lele. Let me just demonstrate that here. Started with a lone Tapu Lele and uh, he bricked. What did he do? Attach this E and decided to uh, knock out one of, uh, or actually not knock out. I think he attacked my Zoroark Jax in this game. 
And uh, the thing he did here while knocking out my, uh, actually not knocking out, putting damage on Zorak Jax together with a DCE and a choice ban. He put on some pressure here and uh, he still bricks. So he attached another energy to his uh, Tapu Lele. And then I come out with my own Tapu Lele. The thing was he parallel seated me and I didn't have a Tapu Lele on my field. So uh, what did I do? I actually had, I think it was this setup. I had a Sudo Wudu, I had a Zoroark in the active. I had a, another Zoroark here and then I had a Rock Ruff. I, the thing here is that my Sudo Wudu received damage thanks to that energy drive. And uh, he parallel seated me as well. Well, so the thing I did is this one got damaged ace roll of that one away This one already had a DCE by the way. I already uh, used righteous beating again for I think uh, 80 damage or something but uh yeah, things are actually 60 damage. It was not a lot of damage that this Lele already has, but he attached another energy. And the thing I did is yeah, Ace Roll of the Sudo Wudu, bench the Tapu Lele, attached his DCE to the Tapu Lele, retreated, and boom! Because he had a bunch of energies attached, that was it. That was a pretty quickly game number two. So uh, I went to the uh, finals match, which was, uh, it's been a while since I went to a finals match, and that was really exciting for me. So uh, let me just put things in order so I can give you the deck list later on in the video. There we go. So as you all know, I love playing with this particular deck list because it always helps me out. I know how to play uh, with it and uh, what cards to use. So next up, the finals match. Could you guess what made it all the way to the finals? Da -da -da -da. We are in Belgium. Okay, we are playing against Tapu Hulu and Viga Volt in the finals. Not the best up matchup in the world since I already lost against it. I tied against it, but this time it was time to face this deck once and for all. So, how did I manage to come out on top? Tapu Bulu is the thing here. He uh, got out his Grubbins. The thing I did, targeted his Grubbins before they could evolve. Uh, I targeted one, got that knocked out. He uh, decided to use a bridge, got some more Grubbins out and eventually Vika Volt was there and he could attack, of course, with Nature's Judgment. It was a really close game. He only needed one more prize card and I needed two more prize cards. Already used my Jax move, couldn't even knock out Tapu Bulu in one shot. So what did I do in order to win? I only had seven more cards in my deck. So the thing I did is, this is Dapu Bulu with a bunch of energies, ready to get his last prize card and it's up to me to save the day here. And uh, what did I do? Uh, I saw that uh, I only had uh, seven more cards left in my deck, used Tapu Lele. Search my deck if my two puzzles were remaining in the deck. That was it. I used Sycamore, boom, get out my Sudo Wudu, uh, thanks to the uh, Puzzles of Time. Puzzle of Time, grab myself Sudo Wudu and Sudo Wudu together with a counter energy, made sure that I could use Nature Judgment on him to get the last two prize cards. So that was amazing, Sudo Wudu MVP in that first game. And now we are up to game number two. Game number two, I, uh, I didn't play too well because uh, I targeted the wrong things and um, Things didn't work out. So uh, in game number two, things uh, for him went really well. He got the choice band at the correct time, got a lot of uh, knockouts. But then I decided I'm gonna scoop game number two so I have more time for game number three. So uh, let me just say I was up against Tristan. Tristan is uh, uh, one of those very skillful players that did really well at the Leipzig Regionals. Also played Tapu Bulu at that tournament. So also then uh, the previous game with Garbodor, Espion, GX. That was Steven. Don't know him pretty well, uh, but he was uh, pretty great. Uh, the good thing is that I uh, managed to get the better, the better hand uh, in that matchup. Anyhow, we are at the final game. We are at one win, one loss in the finals. So it is the best uh, two out of three. So this is the last round in order for me to get the victory, the championship points, the play mat, etc. And the more booster packs. So this is a very weird matchup here. So. The thing he had, he had a Mew from Fates Collide. I don't have that on the screen right now, but just let me say this. He got out a Grubbin, and uh, at the, there are three uh, turns that uh, we both have nothing. There, you know the game that you want to get out your uh, Vika Vault as early as possible and your Zoroarks? Well, we are at turn three and nothing of that sort happened. So we are kind of like, I'm passing, then it's up to him. He dashes an energy to his Mew and he copies a horn attack. It was kind of crazy. But then uh, I got the better hand here. I uh, got that like rock targeted Grubbins all day long. So Grubbin, get out of the active. We use Righteous Beating KO. Turn after him, he... Uh, I think he benches another Grubbin, but things were, went really crazy. I used Guzma, knock out another Grubbin, boom. Then he benched another Grubbin. I did the same thing because I had another Rock Ruff, used Bloodthirsty Eyes, knock out another Grubbin, and then he scoops right there because he says, without Vika Volt, I cannot win. So I finally got the first place at a League Cup. Uh, it's been quite a while, this playmat looks amazing, by the way. So hopefully he enjoyed that little... Uh, Tournament report here. I could have uh, done it more in detail, but I was too busy while playing uh, match after match. Okay, now that we know that uh, Vika Bulu was highly represented at that tournament, we are gonna check out the deck list, of course. You want to know what cer certain cards I ran? Well, let's get it going. 
First off, we're gonna run for Zoroar GX. As you know, Zoroar GX trade, uh, we talked about it a bazillion times. We have, of course, trade at our disposal. We have Righteous Beating. It's an amazing card altogether. With four Zoroar GX comes for Zorua, because then we can evolve. Next up, we're gonna run two Lycanroc GX, so it's pretty similar. I've been running this uh, almost the entire season, so you already have a clue of what is in here. Two Lycanroc GX. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And then uh, three Rockruff. Then, of course, we're gonna have our drum. Yeah, of course, the Wonder Tech of uh, or the deck. Tapu Lele is almost in every deck. We're gonna run three copies here because you, you just wanna fill up the bench with Righteous Beating, and what better way to do that with Tapu Lele and uh, ensure that you have that first turn Bridget. Next up, we're gonna run the tech cards. We have the tech card Mew to destroy Boswells. I was expecting Boswells, did not see anything of that sort. So no Boswells, no Lucarios. Got my Mew, I uh, discarded it every single time with trade. And uh, next up, we have Sudowoodoo, of course, to copy big basic attackers, which was the key here. Thus, many Crossmas, you watch and learn, boom. Um, but up top of Wulu Nature's Judgment, watch and learn, boom. So things went really well with Sudowoodoo. Also with Multi-Switch, things were really great for Sudowoodoo. You don't even have to fall behind in price cards to rely on counter energy. You can just use Multi-Switch, attach a fighting energy, and off you go, you're good. Okay, those were all the Pokemon in the deck. Not that many, but uh, it is what it is. Next up, the supporters. We're gonna run three copies of Bridget. Bridget is amazing, you want to start with it, and I actually started it every single time with Bridget. This list is based on running Bridget, so Bridget is our main supporter of choice. Next up, N. Still a big fan of N, while it's in the format, you can just win games thanks to N, because we have trade and you only set your opponent back to a low hand size, while you can just uh, recover yourself by using trade, 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 etc. So things went really well, so I'm just gonna put those Lycan Rocks a little bit downstairs so you can see them a little bit better. Uh, yeah, there we go. Next up, we are gonna run one copy of Sycamore. Usually when you have Tapu Lele, you want to decide and Sycamore or Cynthia. And I only have one Sycamore because I don't want to discard all my resources, even though we can get them back with Puzzle of Time. The supporter of choice early game is Bridget. Then you use the things like uh, N or Cynthia, or even better, things like Kukui to draw uh, cards and even deal 20 extra damage, which is really great because with that, Zoroar GX can finally knock out Tapu Lele, which is amazing. You use Dangerous Rogue, get that Lele on the active position, use Kukui, boom, it's gone. So that is amazing. One copy of Mallow. Mallow is the MVP card in this deck, besides Sudowoodoo, for the attackers. This is the MVP card for the supporters. Second turn, I always want to use Mallow, get my DCE and something else that I possibly need. So Mallow is also the combo to get out Sudowoodoo with the counter energy to uh, come out of nowhere. With three Lilis, it's definitely possible. So then one copy of Acer Rolla. Acer Rolla helped me out a bit because uh, in, a, in a certain game with Tapu Bulu, he used Horn Attack for 60 damage. And then you can use uh, uh, yeah, the Tapu Wilderness GX to, for 150 damage. Perfect mat while you, uh, the Tapu Bulu player healed up completely, which was in game number one, which I lost twice again. So Acer Rolla should have helped me out there, but uh, it helped me out in other matchups, so that is amazing. So one copy of that, then two copies of Guzma, yeah? You might say, why not? And more copies of this amazing uh, card, because Guzma, you can target Pokemon from the bench of the opponent to the active position. Well, we have Bloodthirsty Eyes of Lycanroc to make sure that we target anything we want. And the good news is, if you rely on Lycanroc, you can still play a supporter, one of these, and that is amazing. So uh, you can use uh, the Bloodthirsty eyes and still use Kukui or Mallow or Acer Aurora, etc. Then that's all for the supporters. Now let's go to the items. We have four copies of Ultra Ball. Pretty uh, straightforward. Get out your Lele, get out your Bridget or even get out your Evolution, get out your Sudowoodoo. You can get out any Pokemon with Ultra Ball. Then two Evo Soda. Now you might say, why are you running Evo Soda? Evo Soda doesn't activate Bloodthirsty Eyes. Well, it's just first turn Bridget, go to Zorwag GX and then start trading. That's why there's uh, that, not that many draw supporters in here. You want to get your second turn Zoroark thanks to Evo Soda. Next, Choice Band. Boom, 30 extra damage. That's what we need to get it with uh, Sudowoodoo. And uh, yeah, you can deal more damage. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't get the knockout sometimes. Choice Band with strong energy also makes Lycanroc crazy. And Choice Band with Zoroark Jax 150, with Kukui 170. It's amazing. Two copies of Floatstone. <coughs> Oh, sorry guys, still a bit sick here. Okay, two copies of Floatstone. Uh, with this, you can just retreat your Pokemon all the way. Uh, all If you start with Sudowoodoo, Floatstone, get out of there. If you start with a Tapu Lele, Floatstone, get out of there. Because you want to have your first attachment to be crucial here. You want to have that attachment on a Rockruff so you can have a second turn Dangerous Rogue GX. Or uh, maybe a multi-switch and uh, do something with Sudowoodoo, etc. So, two copies of Floatstone. 
In this particular list, I wouldn't change anything, which is kind of weird. I always have that feeling after the tournament, I should change something about the list, but in this particular case, I don't have that. Then uh, three copies of Field Blowers. This helped me out a ton. I could not stress that enough because Field Blowers help me out against the Garbodor matchups, also get rid of Choice Bands on top of Bulus, also uh, get rid of Floatstones so they have a uh, hard time to retreat and uh, it just helped me out. I, I love 3 copies of Field Blowers, you could cut it down to 2 copies if you don't expecting that many Garbodors, maybe you can add in another draw supporter or maybe an extra Rock Rev or whatever you want to choose. Or maybe something to counter uh, Hoopas, maybe the Lycan Rock from the, I think Guardians Rising set, could be wrong. The one that knocks out Hoopas with one energy. Then of course, four puzzles of time. This can get back anything, so that's why we are able to run one copies of. I don't recommend running one copies of, but with puzzle time it's possible. You use, you use uh, one copy of Mallow, one copy of Acer Wall, you can get, ba get back anything with puzzles of time. Then uh, for the last items of the list, we're just gonna put them aside here. We have Enhanced Hammer. And let's put those aside a little bit here and of course multi switch these are really great ones off if you're seeing the opponent attaches a strong energy or a dc get rid of it straight away with enhanced hammer a multi switch can get that surprise combo out of nowhere to attack with pseudo voodoo and watch and learn because we don't run max elixir we need two attachments on pseudo voodoo except if we're running behind in price cards to rely on counter energy so multi switch kind of op here because uh, let's say you use righteous beating Get that floatstone, go to the bench and uh, promote your Lycanroc, use multi-switch, attachment on the turn on Lycanroc and out of nowhere Dangerous Rogue Jax comes out of there. Next up for the energies, we will be relying on 4 DCE. These 4 DCE are necessary for the Zoroark, could help out with Mew because Mew with Righteous Beating knocks out things that are weak to Psychic so that is amazing. Then of course 3 of these uh, fighting energies. These fighting energies are just for, of course, Lycan Rock, but it could help out with Sudo Voodoo as well. And then for the last energies of the list, we are gonna run two strong energy. And the best card of the deck is the surprise counter energy. Okay, that is the entire list. Hopefully enjoy enjoyed another deck. Uh, profile video together with a uh, League Cup report and uh, if you want to see more videos of that if, uh, when me when I'm entering a tournament let me know in the comment section below let me know if you did well at your uh, League Cup or League Challenge or just uh, yeah, League for fun uh, in the comment section below uh, let me know what you run and uh, what uh, decks you are afraid of right now and what decks you look forward to for the Forbidden Light set because we're gonna put a lot of content on the channel just for you guys so be sure to support the channel by destroying the like button every single time you know I always appreciate that and with that I'll leave you all uh, have a fantastic rest of your day. We will see you guys soon enough. I'm out. Peace.